In this tutorial we're going to take a look at display options. So let's go ahead and make a solid sphere and we'll just do a center radius sphere. Um, so right now by default I have mine set at ghosted which sort of allows you, let's go ahead and make one more sphere, to see a little bit into an object so it's almost like a translucent or transparent um, display of the object. You can also um, change that display so if we select this down arrow we can look at objects in wireframe or in shaded which then you can only see the outside of the object. You can also work in a rendered view so if you have materials applied to your object you can see what the material or rough estimate of the material might look like. Um, X-ray is a little bit like ghosted but you see a wireframe on the interior of objects. Um, you can also do some more you know like technical drawings that show dashed lines if they're hidden and then contours or exterior lines if they're um, not hidden. You can also change to artistic or pen um, or arctic which is sort of nice for um, backgrounds behind uh, line drawings um, and you can also download some some um, display options as well from online so if you if there's some that you see out there that aren't listed here you can actually download and install those um, one nice thing i tend to work with ghosted just because it's a kind of nice uh, balance between a wireframe and a shaded view so that's what I typically work with. Um, but one nice thing that you can also do, uh, this is just a useful tool. So let's say we have a solid box here and a few other solid geometries. If I'm working on uh, a bunch of objects and I just want to work on this one for a while, I can actually select all of the other objects. If I hold down shift, I can select multiple objects and then type hide. And then I can select the object I'm working on, type Z, enter for zoom and then S for selected and then work on that object I can um, you know rotate it and move it or even add some transforms like twisting um, just to give it a little you know strange shape and then when I'm done working on that it's kind of nice to then uh, show everything so you can type in show and then everything that you had previously hidden will reappear. So it's just an easy way. I mean, you can also do this with layers by turning on and off layers, but if you're working very quickly, show and hide are really good useful commands.